Hello. Well, it's Christmas Eve. It's Saturday, Christmas yeah. Eve. Um, I've not been very well. I've got a bad back. I um, tweaked it last week at work. Made some uh, throwing some chains over the load. It's just got worse. So I had a. When did I get home? Oh, Friday. Yeah, it's Sunday now, isn't it? So Friday, I got home Thursday night. I had a day in the workshop on the, on Friday, and it went proper when I was in here. Um, I did manage to make a couple of bits and pieces. One of them was a sign for um, a friend's French or friend of my wife's shop. Um, she has a, a place called Recycle Yard. Um, you'll find her on, on Facebook. She's in a, a little town called Harbury, just outside Wakefield, um, and she just she she buys stuff in. Um, to recycle, recycle you know, materials and, and all sorts of stuff like that. So, so I uh, I made her a, a new shop zone to hang up inside the shop. So she's uh, happy that, and I'll put that up um, when I when I edit this. I'll uh, I'll put this in the video, so you'll probably see it now. Good that, isn't it? I'm quite pleased that I've made out cutlery, and uh, obviously. It stacks all the cutlery together. The backboard is uh, aluminium, so I um, attacked all the um, cutlery into shape, tacked all the letters together, um, and then I welded on. Oh, I've got some spares here. They're uh, coach bolts with the dummy bit on the top cut off. I just chopped them off with, with a slitting disc. Um, just welded them on the back of the uh, cutlery. Bits off. What's left? So yeah, I just welded them on the back like that, and then I put on a, another nut to give it a bit of depth, a bit of height, and then uh, obviously drilled the holes, respective holes. Oh, excuse me, um, respective holes where they needed to be. Put them in, bolt on the back, job done. Um, recycled chainsaw uh, blade for the um, for the hanger, and it was quite good. Some. Uh, Oh, pardon me. Oh, full of wind. There's some, uh, yeah, it's a Ford Green. It's an old, um, like an 80s, uh, what used to be on the Ford Escorts. That green, it's a really nice colour. Um, that's the base of the green, and then I just dusted around the edge with the airbrush. You know, just to give it that faded effect on the outside. Again, it's a bit of a throwback, bit, bit of a throwback um, um, style but uh, yeah it's quite nice come out with really nice you really, really well she's exceptionally happy so I'll stick a link on the end of this for that um a oh, little one made from her it's supposed to go on there as well and I completely forgot to pick it maybe a couple to fly we start a plate just for that bit of a plate and then a bit of rebar I didn't actually clean all the rebar up because I just wanted that striping effect off the rebar a little welding wire for antennas Easy. But my intention was to put that on the side, completely forgot, so I've now got a butterfly. We'll find a use for it. So, plan for today. Um, well, I did make um, some piggy banks. Well, I made a piggy bank out of um, one of these. There's a helium balloon cylinder. It's those cheap. Helium balloons, uh, helium cylinders you buy from Asda and the places. Right? Um, I have made one already. I did film the build. Can't find the film anywhere, so I figured I've had somebody. I made made it for myself, for me and the kids to save. Um, but I've had two other people wanting one each, obviously. So I figured I'd try again and refilm it. So my intention is exactly the same as I did in my previous one, which uh, I'll just cut these off, cut the handles off. Cut that out. Don't need to purge these because it's helium, it's not flammable, so it's not going to blow up in your face. Um, the paint is like no paint I've ever met before. You can't grind it off. Well, you can grind it off, but it makes a mess of the metal. You can't use a flappy disc on it because it just gums a flappy disc up and seems to spread the paint everywhere. So all, I, all I'm doing, all I'm going to do, is just grind off the spots that I need to weld and then grind again with the flappy disc just to clean it and smooth the grind marks out of the metal. That's all I'm going to do. Then I'll probably put the sand on it and just key it up, ready for paint. And that'll be, uh, I've got one of them we just once primed, which I use a um, high build primer. 
so it just wants that primed and the other one wants it fully painted so I have got a pink and in fact you can just see it in the top corner there just up there see it uh, where are we going uh, there see it just there kind of pink paint so I'll prime it paint it pink and then I'll go in with the uh, Posca paint pens Right in here, just to show you, mate. Like yeah, the paint pens are just it's water based paints. Um, in a, um, it's just a, like a felt tip, it's just a, it's a water based paint. Um, and I'll do like the eyes and the toenails and stuff like that and make it a little bit more real, shall we say. Um, and then clear cut, and then it'll go out to them. So that's the plan. So I'm going to do the, the stripping and all that stuff of the paint. I'm just going to do one at a time. Stripping of the paint. Um, I'll do that off camera because you don't need to see it. So when I come back, I should have nice shiny spots. All over it. Far on the bottom. Yeah. Shiny face of stuff to stick to. We'll see you in a bit. Well, we're back. To be fair, this one this, this tank wasn't as bad as the, uh, the last one did. Don't know why that was, uh, that caused me so much grief, but it, uh, it did. So anyways, we just cleaned, I just cleaned off what I needed to clean off. A lot of spots on the bottom of the legs. Face, and I'll just put a nose, use that as a mouth. Just stick a nose on there, and a couple of ears, just made out a bit of a mild. And then sand it off for a curly tail. My intention is, I uh, required these. It's a tube. I've got for some reason I've got an aluminum. I've got a grub screw in them. I don't know why. I've got grub screws. I'll come in with um, Chop them in half. Gives me two legs. Four legs. For the nose, chop a bit off this cylinder. It's uh, this is just a CO2 cylinders that I use on the uh, on the MIG. They're uh, yeah, they're perfect. That's a bit true. Chop the bottoms off, chop the top off. I actually use them as um, chimney stacks normally for log burners. But uh, you don't need to purge these again. CO2 is non-flammable, you just cut straight into them, there's no problems. So I'll just chop off maybe an inch, an inch ring. Another bit of plate. Weld it on the face. Just close it in. Weld it on the front, a couple of washers. Looks like a big snout. And then a bit more of this plate. Loads of it. A bit more of this plate, a couple of floppy over ears. I've got some round like round barrel wind up for um, curly tail, job done. Bit of paint, job done. Where she goes. So that's my plan. First thing I'll do is legs. Um, dusty my eyes. First thing I'll do is legs. I can have it sat down nicely. I don't have to worry about it too much then. And then I will do um, the snout and ears, and uh, it's done. My snout ears and tail done. So I'll flip over to time lapse. Fingers crossed. This time, when I've done the time lapse. I'll be able to find it, because that's a bit of lost. We'll catch you on the other side. Hope you enjoy.
Well, oh, it's smart, miss. Where's the little file? Here it is. It's a little bit of uh, Uh, well, there she is. What do you think? Well, I think not quite according to plan because I forgot how thin the material is. The, the, the tank material, it's only, it's only really thin. Um, so when I was welding on, when I was welding on the uh, the, the slot for your coins, I. Um, when I, was, when I was pushing it out, when I was smoothing out, I, I ground straight through. So I ended up, um, I tried filling it with weld and it just kept blowing it away. So it was obviously way too thin, so I just put a patch piece in. Um, it's not too bad, to be honest. I only sell these really cheap anyway, so I can't really expect anything from a supermarket, you know, from a manufacturer. Um, bent up a bit of wire, rolled it around a piece of tube. Thanks to Jason Andrews. There's a plug for Jason Andrews. Check out his channel. He's got some pretty amazing stuff. He did it. He welded it on. Rolled it around. It's not that easy. Maybe it's just a bit thick gauge. I don't know. But um, it, it did the job anyway. And uh, we've got a nice pigtail. I put on at the end. Let's see it there. A ball. And now all you haters out there start saying, "Oh, pigs don't have a lump on the end of the tail like that." No, but they don't have people falling over and sticking their eyes on them either. So. It was just a little bit sharp, so I just thought I'd actually use a wing nut, welded a wing nut on and then trimmed it off and flushed it in a little bit. Just for a little bit of protection, that's all. In case everybody was to fall over on it. So I'd hate for anybody to get hurt. So yeah, it's done. Hit it with a sander. Just to key uh, the remainder of the paint up. One thing I did find when I uh, when I painted my mine um, was the writing on the, on the, on the tank is, is an absolute pain in the ass to um, to cover, so I've made a point of um, getting rid of it um, with the uh, flat wheel just to make life a bit easier. So, piggy, I'll uh, I'll try and uh, remember because I'm shocking lately. I'll I'll try and remember to put a photo up at the end after this of what it looks like primed. Right, obviously, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it painted today. That's the job for the uh, for next week. Because um, the customer's not wanting it until the week after, or next weekend, weekend of New Year. Um, his wife's a bit of a, a bit of a pig fanatic apparently, so job done. So I'll go through some uh, some uh, primer at this, and then I will start on the second one. Hope you enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe, do all that other stuff that you're supposed to do. Blah blah balls, and. Uh, Catch you on the next build.